Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this Sex Curious show, Sexplanations. I asked on Twitter for your sex questions and I'd like to answer as many as I can in this video. Please help. My partner with trauma is starting to explore what they like and don't like. Making a list of your videos to help educate and discuss. Do you have any tips, sites, or references to help? Already lots of communications, patience, and a want, will, won't list. You're doing so many great things already. A sexplanations playlist, communicating, patience. This video has my favorite sites. I have a coloring book of my favorite sex tips, and I would recommend giving you and your partner and your relationship time to explore and settle in so that no one feels what Paulo Freire calls banking. Links in the description. This might make me sound stupid, but does lack of sex play into depression? Absolutely. Sex is a way for some people to experience social connection, exercise, and stress relief. Without it and the accompanying chemicals, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins, you can definitely feel low emotionally. Sex and masturbation are correlated with higher mental health satisfaction. A 2020 study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health reports lowered levels of anxiety and depression among young adults with higher levels of sexual satisfaction. So not just sex play, but satisfying sex. Is it possible for a man to orgasm but not ejaculate? Can it be controlled? It is possible to have an orgasm and not ejaculate, just like it is possible to ejaculate and not orgasm. Controlling it isn't always possible, but you can study ways to do it and practice. I'll make a video. Where can I listen to this explanations podcast? SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, youtube.com slash explanations podcast. How do I respectfully tell a guy he needs to amp up the thrust tempo faster? Can you go faster? Non-verbally grabbing his ass and yanking it toward you? What is this motion? Moving it at a pace that works best for you. Before having sex the next time, ask, can we try faster thrusting? I think it would drive me wild. Advice for not feeling rejected when you initiate and your partner isn't in the mood, especially for feminine people who often internalize that they shouldn't be the one to initiate. Ooh, I feel for you. And I'm working on a full episode about this. In the meantime, please know it's okay to feel rejected. Rejection can be a good thing. It's about boundaries and consent. I would also add, get on some forums with people in your situation so it doesn't feel so personal. Studying the sexual orientation, ace flux, and masturbating. Obsess over your sexual desire and pleasure rather than your partner's. It may feel disappointing, lonely, and irritating at first, but on the plus side, it can alleviate pressure on the situation so that you can have a conversation about solutions without your crotch trying to get its way. What's the best kind of lube to use in the shower? Silicone or oil-based lube that won't just rinse off like water-based lubes. Video on choosing lubes here or here. Links in the description. Did you ever find research that explains why we say the things we do at Climax? Oh God, yes, yes, yes. I forgot about this. I haven't researched it, but I'm still curious. Is squirt mostly pee? No, and I'm totally dissatisfied with the science on this. Are there any chemists out there with access to a laboratory where we could conduct our own research? Please. Reading list? These are on my reading list. A Curious History of Sex by Kate Lister, who has the best Twitter account. Getting It by sex education genius Alison Moon, a guidebook on casual sex without shame. Sex with Shakespeare by Julian Keenan. On the back, we've got, Keenan uses 14 of Shakespeare's plays as a springboard to explore the many facets of love and sex from desire and connection to fetish and addiction. And for the mega nerd in me, sexuality and obscenity, Supreme Court decisions edited by Robert Dittmer. Advice for plus size partners? My advice for all partners and their unique bodies? play. Find positions, techniques, and language that works for you, and talk with and learn from people with bodies like yours. One of my clients did this and discovered that by rolling a towel and placing it on her partner's belly, she could get a firmer surface to rub her clit on. Pillows and sex cushions can help with this too, by propping up the back so that the abs are tighter, or by lifting the hips so that parts are more accessible. I have a 12-year-old. What are some good resources for introducing sex positivity without alienating, confusing, or grossing out my child? Norway's eight-episode sex education show, Newton, is one of the best I've seen. I'd also recommend a library card and directions to the sexuality books there. And I've made you a playlist. I've made you a playlist, and I've made your child a playlist. I've made you a playlist, and one for your child. Seems like you're back and focused on making more income from your content. Are you back full-time? Trying to be, finding it very difficult with discrimination against sex education. 
but trying. Monetizing, not really happening. We're trying to put videos on other platforms and I'll keep you updated on this. What if we could increase sex positivity enough to reach corporations and shareholders and lawmakers so we get reparations for the discrimination and amelioration of sex education? Or we just take the sex out of the show. Just take all the sex out of sex explanations. Our channel is now called Planations. Thank you to everyone on Patreon who is making this show possible. We appreciate you and adore you. Stay curious. I'm Lindsay. This is Planations. I'm a clinical ologist. Banda. Birds. Banging. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Rub, rub, rub your clit. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>